we got Netherlands Explained Part 2. Part 1 is on the channel already. If you guys want to check it out, link will be in the description. Let's jump into this and check this out, man. With such an amazing response to our video on the Netherlands, we just had to go deeper into the low-lying country. Right. And you know why this is clever if you watched the first video, so go ahead and do that if you haven't watched it yet. But but don't forget to come back to this one when you're done and pay the respect back to these Jenkies. Of course. Wait, huh? No, we didn't mix up the United States with its 236 times smaller country. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Why are we, uh, why are we going to America? Yet the USA was forever marked by the place across the Atlantic as the origin story of their international nickname, Jankies, leads back to the Dutch. Uh -huh. The legends state that as the area around the state of New York was known as New Netherland in the 7th century, the English inhabited in this space started calling the Dutch settlers their Jankies. As oh, wow, cool. Term because so many of them were called Jan or Kies, typical Dutch names, right? There are other Netherlands related theories to the origin story, all of them arriving that the famed New York Yankees sign, seen by everyone and worn by many New Yorkers, Americans, baseball fans or not, can be squeezed into the list of Dutch symbols. As we keep Wait, reading, such what? a densely populated country is equally com How crazy does this look? Like, I watched the first Netherlands Explain video. Oh, it's been, it, it, it was like seven months ago now. So I might have uh, forgotten a few details, but yeah, that's interesting, that is. As we keep. Look at this, though. This is this is something you can't forget. This is something you can't forget about Netherlands is how much water the country has. Proving such a densely populated country or is flows through it. compactly filled with interesting facts, people, and their achievements, collectively or individual. Yeah, more bicycles than people. One of the accomplishments is that the Dutch are the most proficient nation when it comes to speaking English as a second language. Probably another great reason why there were so many of you Dutchies on the last video. It's true. The Dutch are leading the pack of the non-native English speakers, even ahead of the Scandinavian countries. Wow, really cool. And speaking of many people watching our videos, make sure you also subscribe to the channel so you get notified when a new video comes out. Unsurprisingly, like the Northern Europeans, the Dutch have also infiltrated Hollywood seamlessly, stealthily, with no accents or wooden clogged footsteps tipping them off. Only the Nace, like the original X-Men star Famke Janssen, known for the role of John Gray, is from yep. Netherlands, as are the Game of Thrones cast members Carice Van Houten and Michelle Heisman. Do you speak their tongue? Tell them to lift their swords. Oh wait, no well, way, they sir. They were preceded by the memorable Rutger Hauer of the Blade Runner fame and the director of Robocop, Starship Troopers, and Total Recall, Paul Verhoeven. Well, there are a lot of assholes, yes. <laughs> Uh, he's got the orange tie. The Netherlands has a history of artistic influence that spans centuries, though. Their painters left unmissable marks on the once blank canvases of history. There's something for everyone in the works of the Dutch artists. Whether it's Van Gogh, who went mad before the world went crazy for him, or the yeah. two possible Giesling enjoyers, more on this later, Johannes Verme and Rembrandt, who never left their country, or Hieronymus Bosch, who was definitely not a madman. Definitely. Clearly. I. Yo, what is going on with these? What is more on this later? Johannes Verme and Rembrandt, who never left their country, or Hieronymus Bosch, who was definitely not a madman. D yeah, definitely, definitely not a madman. Clearly. I Jesus. He also what? predicted the destiny of Van Gogh nearly four centuries prior. Now the Dutch dominates a different field of arts, electronic music, across its subgenres. Just listening to DJs would require a video of its own, but some of the most well-known names include Martin Garrix, Armin yep. Buren, Tiesto, Nicky Romero, Afrojack, and Hardwell. Jesus, man, is any DJs that hasn't just influenced isn't from the Netherlands? Arts, the world's biggest sport has been molded by Dutch minds. Football or soccer, if you're an actual Yankee, has been revolutionized by the Dutch. And right. the Netherlands is known as the place for producing textbook technical perfect players with an attacking mindset. While the country's biggest success remains the 1988 European Championship triumph. Yeah, they've always been good at football. Always. I don't know about now though. I'm not that I'm not like that up to date on football, I'm not gonna lie, but you know, but back ten years ago. So many Netherlands superstars. Act, which would also require a video of its own. The Dutch can be very proud of their compatriot Max Verstappen, who won the FED World Championship in. Bro, Jesus! Like for a small country, right? 
they are dominating so many aspects around the world. They actually are. I didn't even realize. See, I'm not big in F1 either. I didn't even realize Max Verstappen is uh, is Dutch. Jesus. In 2021, Max Verstappen. With field hockey and korfball. Mm, okay. As Wait, what is korfball? Other popular sports alongside ice skating. The latter makes a lot of sense considering the importance of gliding on frozen water in the history of the country. During the 80 years war, mentioned in the first video, the Dutch faced a siege of Amsterdam by the Spanish Empire. During the winter, the port of the city was frozen and the Spaniards started marching clumsily towards the city across the ice. Yet they were faced with a remarkable sight. The Dutch soldiers put on their skates and met their charge with a maneuverability that was impossible to combat. After Wait, there ain't no way that they was fine with ice skates. This has to be like some sort of exaggeration, firing right? Firing their weapons, the skate shooters returned swiftly to safety to reload. Huh? The Spanish commander Duke of Alva didn't hide his respect after the retreat. It was a thing never heard of before today to see a body of musketeers fighting like that on a frozen sea. What? Wait, that's real? Now, in happier times, skating is a part of Dutch culture through Elfstedentog. That is the 11 cities tour ice skating competition on natural ice in the province of Friesland. The almost 200 kilometers of gliding area to be covered by several hundred competitors in the speed skating competition. Oh my god. 15,000 leisure participants. A marathon wow. that is finished in seven hours by the fastest ice sprinters. The only issue is that there have only been three tours held in the last 50 years. The last one coming in 1997. Precisely because it is held on natural ice and the load of 15,000 plus people requires a certain thickness. With the last Jesus. real chance of talk coming in 2012 before it was cancelled for safety reasons when the temperature suddenly rose. So climate change is already affecting all... I mean the Netherlands. <laughs> the Netherlands guy. Hey, you went to say the... You went to say Holland boys. He went to say hello, boys and girls. Yeah, <laughs> Nothing else. We stated this before. Yet, it's still impressive that the competition held ever at all, like at any time, considering that most of the country should be underwater, if not for the Dutch ingenuity. And yeah, ingenuity. true. None more money. We went in that, uh, through that in the first video. It's really, really cool how the country would be underwater, but, be but because of like their, uh, their engineering, They've like made it flow through the eyes. Oh, insane. Mental than the conquering of the really cool. province Flevoland from the hands of, well, the sea. Through a very complex and long process of drainage and building barriers, starting Crazy. in the early 20th century and culminating in 1986 with the founding of the 1,412 kilometers squared province. Nearly all consisting of reclaimed land, the majority of the area is used for agriculture, but the total population of the territory is reaching half a million already. With one of the wow. two parts of Flevoland, Flevopolda, being the largest artificial island in the world. With such resourcefulness, it's not surprising that the Dutch have been hired by other places like Dubai for their needs regarding man-made islands. Oh wow! These battles with the sea and the fact that the country's canals, lakes and ditches makes it completely logical that submarines and Wi-Fi were invented here. Besides the microscope, telescope and Wi-Fi's younger stepbrother Bluetooth technology. As much as sea is the enemy of the Dutchies, it's also their biggest ally as 82.5% of the Netherlands GDP comes from exports. And the key factor in that cool. is the city of Rotterdam, known as the gateway to Europe. The 10th largest port per volume of cargo that goes through them. So large that it's 1.5 the size of Manhattan. Oh and my hence, god, Jesus. It's not Stop surprising it. that the Dutch have some of the biggest companies in the world. Shell, XR, Airbus, Heineken and of course Philips, with 11 total rankings on the Fortune Global 500 list for the companies with the highest revenue. Significantly impressive considering the government of the country incentivized emigration after World War II because the infrastructure was so wrecked. Dude, it's actually blowing my mind, right? That how small Netherlands is, but how big it is and how impactful it is, right? That is on the whole entire world as well. Resulting That's crazy. Resulting in leaving for the US, Canada and Australia. Saved by businesses' savviness that has been made on a long tradition dating even before the Dutch East India Company, which many considered the biggest company ever, like including today, it's believed that the business culture was nurtured by the Dutch keeping true to their own way of communicating, strict to the point and honest no matter what. Cool. Cool. Stemming in part Love of the that country's get straight out. past when precise and quick exchange of information was of paramount importance. This made the country fertile for companies as much as it is for tulips. And we definitely saw the bluntness in action with every small detail mentioned in the comments of the first video. 
and while possibly others would mind, we embrace it. Yet this bluntness that might be misregarded as coldness by foreigners is contrasted with a tradition of social tolerance. It ties in with what unfortunately most solely connect the country with. So yeah, I can't lie. A lot of British people go to the Netherlands. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. I, I swear I know someone every single year that's going to the Netherlands. Being decriminalized. And I don't, I don't know that many people I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> to being legal, etc. That is Wait, what's that? Soft being decriminalized. To being legal, etc. Okay, that I is know what's that. Most of those who don't watch our videos. Still, they are a big reason why Dutch tourism had 20 million international arrivals in 2019. That's way more than the country's population. Jesus. Their neighbors in Belgium had less than half of that number. And all that despite the Netherlands being a very cloudy country. Still, despite all that unpredictable weather, with frequent drizzles and complaining about it, the Dutch are the world's most avid bikers, with 32,000 kilometers of bike roads across the country. And if Mad. that number isn't making you dizzy, the city of Utrecht bicycle parking lot slash garage absolutely will, with its capacity of 12,500 bikes. What? So many things, so many people, all in a small space. Yet what's possibly the most inspiring thing about the Netherlands is that despite the crowdedness and being on top of each other while the sea wants to devour them, they have an important word in their culture. Gezellig, or gezellig, that is hard to translate. Gezellig. But it's understandable to everyone. It refers to the feeling of coziness, fun, in a social and relaxed setting, and also a sense of belonging, time spent with loved ones and togetherness. Uh, Hopefully cool. this video will also lead you to more Gresselig in your own lives. Gresselig. Really good video. Enjoyed that. Nice way to end Netherlands Explained. Amazing country. If you guys didn't by any chance see part one, make sure you do check it out. It's on my channel and in the description. Let me know what the video is missing in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.